what insights about security in the fulfillment space would you like to share with our community? Yeah, you know, one of the challenges in fulfillment is you've got a lot of people who you don't really know walking around your building. And so the idea of trying to protect the network or making sure everybody has badges and only authorized people are in the building, which you can do in a corporate environment, it's just not, not possible in a fulfillment environment where you've got, you know, Amazon has a million people walking around their warehouses. You know, we have tens of thousands in ours and there's no way to vet all of those folks. And so, you know, you are, there's, there's nothing stopping you from being compromised. So at the, at the first step, um, you have to assume you're compromised. And then uh, I always think about tiny bubbles. And the security guys always talk about tiny bubbles. Like how do we keep passwords out of the fulfillment centers? Like how do we have a strong network segmentation? How do we have um, a good firewall between um, the fulfillment and then the corporate jewels, which are back at you know HQ or in the cloud or someplace else. Um, the second thing is, as you get more sophisticated, you know our shop is mostly manual, but it, when you get more sophisticated, uh, every single one of those uh, PLCs, uh, you know, people install software on those with a USB card, right? You know, it's getting better. They move to IPC, industrial PCs, but you know, there's tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of PLCs out there, which are not centrally managed. There's no backup for them. Um, you know, that was one of my, my, my things at Amazon. Like we have to have backups of every single device because if someone bricks it, you could take us down for the, you know, for the season um, or, you know, at least for a few hours and you can never catch up once that happens. And then, you know, the same is true and a little less so in the flex where we're mostly a manual shop, but every single PLC that controls a sortation or a sorter, excuse me, the same thing, um, a robot, all of those things have firmware and they can be bricked. And so you have to be ever vigilant for that. Um, and then, you know, one of the most famous hacks is Target, right? And the way that Target was hacked was that their HVAC vendor uh, left the line open and someone dialed into the HVAC and it wasn't on the vendor net. And so they got onto the FC network. And then from there, they got into the corporate network. Um, and so, you know, every little hole uh, can be, can be, uh, What's it called? Exploited. So you have people in your building, you have vendors dialing into your building, you have super important equipment in your building, which has to run because you don't recognize revenue until the shipment goes out the door. And then you have access to the corporate network. And so all of those are potential vectors.